Hello, and thank you for joining me for another Ansible Automation Platform demonstration. This go around, I'm going to create certificates with Let's Encrypt using the DNS method as opposed to the more popular HTTP method. Then I'm going to take those certificates and I'm going to apply them to an F5 load balancer. The idea being you can schedule all of this workflow to happen so that your certificates will automatically be updated and then applied and you never have to touch anything. So first things first, if you haven't seen my blog post on it, it's got all of the uh, dirty details on this as well as links to the GitHub repo and kind of explanations of what's going on. So I'm going to kind of move through this pretty quick. First, I've got my Let's Encrypt Certificates Creation Playbook right here. So I'm going to fire this guy off. It's going to create two private keys, one for the Let's Encrypt account and then one for the certificate authentication itself. And it's then going to make a challenge. Uh, that challenge will come back with some information. It will ask it to create a text record in my DNS. So I'm going to reach out to my Cloudflare account via the API, which APIs are now my very favorite thing because it allows me to automate everything so much easier. Um, once it reaches out to um, and uh, once it reaches out to Cloudflare and creates that text record, record rather, um, after that the challenge can actually be validated. So it's going to reach out here in this last step and it's going to validate um, validate that certificate based on that DNS entry. Now I have some delays in here because this can take a little bit of time from the creation of the record to actually being able to validate. Right, That can be a few seconds. So I add a few extra retries in there. And if we pop over here to my search store and I do a refresh on it, all right, here we are, test, test one at gregsoul.com. So you see the certificate and the key, that's what we're fixing to use. And we're going to move on to step two. So I'm going to take a look at my my F5. You can see the certificate store. There's uh, none of my custom, custom certificates are in there. If you look in here, I don't have any virtual servers. I don't have any pools. I don't have any nodes, right? It's all blank. So I'm going to use Ansible to build that inventory as well as apply the uh, all that good stuff in there. So I'm going to do the let's encrypt build vip add cert. So I'm going to fire this one off and Ansible has a ton of great F5 modules, right? So for big IP, big IQ, all kinds of stuff. So this is really, if you look at it, the, uh, the completion here, it's creating the, the pools, adding the members, creating the virtual server. Then it gets to some of the interesting bits. It actually uploads the certificate, uploads the key, then creates a uh, <clears throat> an SSL profile, and then creates the virtual server based on that. It really ran that fast. So if I pop back into the F5, I look at um, pools, I see my test test one, nodes, my couple of web servers, right? If I um, pop into my uh, SSL orchestrator here, and I take a look at my certificates and keys, I can see my certificates are in there, right? It was quite literally that simple to have Hansible automate that portion of it. Now, how do I automate the part where it updates all the good stuff? So what I did is I created a workflow, and a workflow is basically the ability to take um, uh, playbook templates, right? Um, job templates, rather, uh, in here, and you can string them together in interesting ways. So here's the workflow I created. Using the workflow visualizer, I just added the create the certificates. So it runs that exact same one again, that exact same playbook. And the idea is all this is idempotent. So if it needs to update, it will. So Let's Encrypt by default, I believe, gives you a 90 day certificate. What I do is I schedule just to run every 30 days. And if it still has 60 days or less, it does nothing. So it waits. Um, for that certificate to get to a certain level of expiration, and then it will go ahead and update. But if it doesn't need to, it'll just skip that step, right? And then with the Let's Encrypt install, this is almost a one-liner. I mean, it is such a small, simple playbook. If I uh, pop into it really quick, and I take a look, reinstall certificate. I'll move this one over to the screen really quick. Really, it's only got a single task, and that is try and put the certificate there again. And, and again, this is item potent. It's going to compare the two certificates. If they're the same, it'll do nothing. That's great. If it has been updated, it will go ahead and apply it. So this workflow template, I should be able to fire it off, launch, and it will connect here. 
um, and try and rerun the uh, the regular certificate of store update if you look it's mostly just okays and skips right because it didn't actually need to update anything if we pop back over to jobs I should see that last application reinstall certificate and I just see the green okay it didn't actually need to do anything so um, if I wanted to put this on a schedule which I definitely do because I don't want to have to maintain this stuff I just go into the workflow template I click on schedules add the plus and then I will just give it a name and then I will tell it to run just once every 30 days and I'm done right if I click Save I'm complete so this could definitely be extended to encompass the entirety of your infrastructure multiple F5s um, multiple zones right I, it's very extendable you can utilize this in all different manner of ways I'm curious if you guys can see using this in a specific way if you can let me know about it in the comments if you would change anything do anything different let me know that too thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time